All right, so it is Sunday Farmer's Market Day and I realized I still have some leftover goatless cheese from uh, Eat Plant Alchemy that I bought at the last Farmer's Market. So I'm gonna try to use some of that up on a piece of toast, probably put some strawberry preserves on top of that. And yeah, I got some uh, coffee as well. Yes, I do like coffee for those that ask. It's from a, a local roaster. So this is gonna be a quick snack because we're also going to a pop-up. All right, I figured you guys would wanna see the final product. Also, um, I'm gonna put some of this in my um, coffee. Oh my God, it's exactly like uh, Vietnamese French coffee. And if Bodhi sees that I have this out, he will go insane. Speak of the devil, he just jumped <laughs> up screaming. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you better get down. People are going to get grossed out, Bobo. So like most days, I'm having my big banana smoothie, about like nine bananas, about maybe six, seven strawberries, and some coconut water, and some almond milk. Hi there. You want it? Come get it. Come on. Come on. Here you go. Oh, you're so cute. Here you go. There you go, cutie. Oh, boy. Oh, careful. All right, this is our first time at Yorkshire Square Brewery here in Torrance. Beautiful day. Thank goodness the wind died down. And I think we got here just in time to get some food from our home girl, just because. The best. That's what got us out today. <laughs> I know, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> You're hiding. Hi, we're here with Jay. What's up? Hello, we're here at, with Just Vigana. Um, this upcoming Thursday, actually every Thursday, yeah. she'll be in Gardena at State Brewery where she'll be selling loaded nachos, pozole, and street tacos. Ah, the best. So come through. Again, it's every Thursday from 6 to closing. Oh, nice. So can't wait to see you guys. Yes. Oh, wait. And how about the social media? Oh, social media. You can yes. follow her on so Just Vigana. Just Vigana. Yes. Thank you. Just vegan. Um, Wavos Rancheros. Rancheros, guys. Look how good that looks. I can't wait to dig in. Anyways, vegan Mexican breakfast. Want to dig in here? Yeah, let me start digging in here. I don't even know how to start digging in. I'm just gonna just start cutting up a bit I here. I the little squishy yolk. <laughs> mm. Mm. Wow, awesome. It's yeah. really rad, yeah. Oh man, those potatoes look amazing. Mm. So freshly made. It's one of my dreams come true. Vegan huevos rancheros. I'm gonna check out mine. I got some kind of like a tater tot-esque thing here, like a hash brown patty. I this sauce looks super good. The potatoes are good of mine too. Yeah, awesome. Chila Tikoyas, how does she say it? I'm still trying to remember. Well, that's good. Chila Kiles. Chila thank you. Thank you. Chile Kiles. Yeah. Ooh, there's some. Ooh, wow, that mm. sauce has got some spice. Mmm. No, Chile Kiles are pretty rad. <laughs> I got all over the phone. <laughs> another bite of chile quiles. Well, I have some of that egg from the huevos and churros, too. Mm. Wow. I love just to be gone as food. She's amazing. The chile I'm helping you, helping you finish up. This was an amazing breakfast lunch. I mean, this makes me remember it just doesn't suck being vegan yeah. being vegan does not suck guys yeah. this is one takeaway message from this video if anything well, and also that our friends are really good cook yeah that too <laughs> what are you guys doing hey he's gonna push the strawberries oh my god way. i told you he was gonna be really excited about these strawberries he's look he's going, getting high through the bag he's going crazy he's getting high in strawberries through Shall the we? freaking bag Shall out, bro. all right oh now they're gonna fight on the strawberries all right hold on guys how I can do this one-handed? Oh, gonna... he's gonna like climb in the bag with them. Yeah, we don't want that. Okay, just right. chill out on my strawberries. They're guys. not gonna chill out. They're gonna go to town. The green to the strawberries are kind of like catnip. Oh. And that's why these guys are high. like a bunch of drug addicts. <laughs> like, yeah, like high. Okay, chill out. Oh, fighting! Hey, hey, let's be nice, brothers. Do I have to play beat it again? Yeah. <laughs> They've been kind of territorial lately. Look at how pretty. You guys ready? 
Daddy's, Daddy's at the standby here. Just in case. Yeah, that's a good boy. So we've also got a delicious breakfast brewed out here that we'll split up later. Ryan's gonna go for a run, I think, and uh, I'm sure he's gonna be really hungry when he gets back. So we also stopped by Whole Foods and I noticed that my favorite vegan conditioner um, is being discontinued. This particular one, the deep conditioner, there's the vegan symbols, um, which I told you guys uh, last year, I discovered it and I thought it, it um, really smells like Junior Mints. So speaking of Junior Mints, so if you guys watched my chocolate box unboxing and review, I tried this Power Mint Patty and I was like hoping that it would taste like Junior Mints, but um, the one I got was kind of dry. Well, she reached out to me and said that she's pretty sure that it melted in the mail. And so she not only sent me a new one to try, but like what looks like the full line. So, I mean, Chocolate Box City, I'm super stoked to get into these. All vegan and raw as well. Okay. And now, hey. Oh, it's coconut. That's what's going on. Anyways, I'm gonna try the Power Mint Patty from Living Raw. Hey, buddy. No chocolate for kitties. Oh, look who's the singing runner. Or the running singer, I actually talked to him. He's a singer that also runs and practices singing while he runs. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Bobo. Mm -mm. No, no, Bobo. Thank you so much for sending me this. I can't wait to tuck into the other flavors. Mmm. Chocolate. So, you ready for another picture, it looks like. I gotta finish putting all this stuff away. Yes, I do. But hey, I had one more piece of mail I wanted to open on the show here. By the way, you can send us stuff to this address. Yep, you can send stuff to these guys too if you want. It's really beautiful. Okay, so here we go. Mm. Just sit down here. Oh, this is really beautiful, you guys. Matthew. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And before I take my shoes off and get comfy in here, I should mention that our shoes here from As Nature Intended, Ryan and I both have a pair of the black um, flat slip-ons and a pair of the lace-ups in white and green. If you use the code Happy Vegan when you check out at anibrand.com, they will donate $5 to Mercy for Animals. Hey, babe. Hey. Excited to go out for a run? Yeah, I think I could sneak in a little run while the sun's still up and you know, it's a little warm, you know, yeah. kind of nice. ready to mail out. I'm about to autograph a book to Charlene. Um, I wanted to thank her. She bought a whole box of stuff. Super cool. So I wanted to do something special for you, get you on the vlog. Um, we also have a large order going out to Raynal. So large, we don't even have a box big enough for all 10 items. So just giving you a quick shout out. Thanks so much to everyone who's been buying Keep It Card Baby over at shop.happyhealthyvegan.org. I just want to let you guys know that I will autograph the book if you leave uh, a note asking for it. So there you go. So a lot of you guys don't realize that I actually have an Angie B YouTube channel and they're getting ready to demonetize it because I didn't get quite enough views uh, to reach their minimum. So I don't know, I just started uploading more videos that I've been putting off doing because I'm so busy. Um, just putting in a lot of the videos that I filmed of bands playing. There's a few Angie B things on here as well, but if you like live music, come subscribe. Angie B on YouTube. I just saw my friends Joyce Manor play at Union Station this weekend. I was in this weird VIP section, kind of a weird view, but anyway, that was exciting. I will probably put this video up in a minute too. Hey, so I'm basically making that Spanish rice stuff that got us kicked out of Woodstock here. Just a quickie Spanish rice. Uh, I might actually have too much tomato paste in here for the little amount of rice that Brian made.
made. Anyways, it's late. I'm not in the mood, so we're just quickly making some stuff to go with that burrito that we're gonna split. collaborated on and just a really simple salad made with my homemade guacamole and this is the um, burritos that we brought back from Just Veganas in pop-up today. So I'm pretty excited to check it all out and I'm sure Ryan is too. <laughs> all right so um, Ryan's gonna be doing the bite approval solo today. All right well I will. I know you're still tired from that emo punk show last night, huh? Yeah, Joyce Manor tagged me out with her matinee show. Mm. Staying out late playing board games with... Patriotic. Patriotic. Cray cray. What do you think? Yes, I love it. And this is the burrito that she made. It was off menu. It was just like... Was Threw it together. Classy. Yeah, just like with the leftovers, but it looks really good. Potatoes, beans, and I think some veggies. Mm. Yeah, I guess that's it. That's probably where we're going to eat yeah. that. I'll probably a little... Oh, wait, let me get my fork so you can try the rice. No, okay. Classic we'll rice. There's actually a recipe demo video for the rice. Um, so let me try this rice here. Yeah, I also have it in the cookbook. Keep it carb. Keep it carb, baby. It's yeah. easy Spanish rice. It is, exactly. And the guacamole mm -hmm. obviously is in there too. Mm. Yeah. These are the kinds of foods I always feel like everyone just knows how to make and then it turns out they don't. I don't know how to make them. <laughs> yeah. Read your book. 2018, dude. <laughs> All right, baby. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for spending a day with us, seeing how we ate. Um, hit like, like this video, share it with a friend, and until next time, as we're about to do, keep it carb, baby, keep it carb.